It's week three of April, and we have a good matchup on tap. Brewers baseball as Milwaukee goes up against the Washington Nationals. Coming your way on 2K Sports. National League Baseball, the Washington Nationals at home. He is a star among stars, and today we'll get to watch him play his game. Vladimir Guerrero on the field. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. Our starting pitcher for Washington. So Steve, uh, Milwaukee hitters, what's he thinking about? Now this right-hander has quality stuff and doesn't really matter oftentimes who he's facing. If he executes his pitches and pitches his game, he's got a chance to come out on top. Lineup set for this one. Uh, Ron Renicki is going to do it this way. Now, uh, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, top players seem to take longer to progress as far as a major league hitter goes, and Corey Hart is one of those guys. Looks like, though, he's starting to figure out a way to put it all together and use that big frame and hit for a lot of power. Play ball! It's Ricky Weeks in the box now. He's the game's first batter, and we're ready to get things started. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. A loss yesterday for the Brewers. They won game one opportunity to try and take the rubber match now against Washington. Well, they're playing very consistent baseball right now. Sometimes as a manager, that's all you can expect out of your club. Ground ball by Weeks. Number four. Out. One away. Now we'll take a quick look positionally on the field. This is how the Nationals look. John, uh, keeping an eye on anyone? Well, Ryan Zimmerman's turned himself into one of the better fielders in all of baseball. He has that great ability to go down the line to make great strong throws to first base to rob guys of doubles, and he can also charge the ball with the best of them, the complete package at third base. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the pitch. Hot shot towards the hole. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy at first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. Burnett's in the box now. Runner at first with one down. Ball Fastball one. just misses. 1-0. Oh. Well, wow, that pitch right there just seemed to get away from the pitcher. Took off on him. Looked like he tried to overthrow that a little bit. Here's the delivery. Fastball just misses and he falls behind. 2-0. It's wide of the mark, and it's 3-0. and oh. uh, The pitcher can't find the zone right here, but I'm still giving my hitter the green light. I think he has enough discipline to get a good pitch and try to drive it. And he takes ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk. Off the plate outside, he's missed on four straight. He's got to bring it back in the zone. Here's Prince Fielder now with the RBI opportunity. Well, and ever since he was 12, 13 years old, you heard the stories about how far Prince Fielder can hit a ball, and it just continues at the major league level. Another unbelievable season in 2010 for Prince. Runners on first and second with one out. And he's back easily. Line fair down the line in right. That'll be a base hit at an RBI. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And he scores from second base. Well, Prince Fielder, the fluctuation in home runs may go on, but so do the home runs, guys. And listen, he's a 50-homer guy in his career in a single season. I'm going to take my chances that he's going to run into his fair share. I think he's one of the best power hitters in the game. Well, right out of the gate, he's got himself a big double with one run driven in to put the first run on the board. 
It's a good start for these guys right out of the chute. Runners on second and third, one down. Oh. Slider just misses, one and oh. Well, he went for the backdoor slider right there, but he laid off the pitch. Good eye. At the belt, the 1-0. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. The pitch. Oh, Fastball three. misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. But with first base open right here and a 3-0 count, don't look for just a pitch right down the middle to try to get one of those get-me-over strikes. He might still pitch around him to put him on. A swing and a drive deep into left field. Back to the wall. He heads. Oh, here comes the runner for the plate. And that first run scores. He's an RBI machine, no question about it. And productive outs. He has the right approach with a runner on third base. Simmons settles in. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now, each player feeding off the other. Well, that's a good piece of hitting right there to take an early lead in this game. Runner on second and two outs. Ball. First pitch way out of the zone, ball one. It's very early, so it may not stand up, but uh, far better to be playing with the edge. Well, that's right, Gary. They're going to try to use that edge to add some padding to this lead. Ball. I think he lost the feel on that slider, and it's 2-0. and oh. Hit hard on the ground to short. You're Throws to first in time. That's three down. Early scoring. That's hey. always a blessing. They get it going here. The Brewers are on top. Two to nothing. Hey. And here's a look at the starting pitcher for Milwaukee. And Steve, what's he uh, looking at as he sees this Washington lineup? Well, a little mismatch in this one right here. One of the best lefties in the game against the lineup that does struggle at times to score runs. So it could be a lopsided ball game. Now the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a hot shot. Weeks. In time for the out. Here's the lineup for the Nationals. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Uh, one of the most fun players for me to watch in all of baseball, Vladimir Guerrero. Guy that will swing at absolutely everything that's thrown up there at the plate. Bounce over his head, inside, outside. Anything you throw, he's hacking. Love to watch him, though. Now we'll take a quick look at the Brewers. Here's how they line up defensively. Swing and a line drive. They take care of that one. Let's take a look at where Washington ended up rank-wise last year in the National League. Third in stolen bases, seventh in triples, and they were in the top ten in home runs. That ability to drive the ball really paid dividends for this team's offense. Vladimir Guerrero at the plate with two away. Right there in the top five in home runs. Pitch on the way. Strike Big one. swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh. 
Guerrero not fooled by that pitch. Count is evened up. He's hit 358 lifetime against the Brewers. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though. 2-1. and one. Uh, Coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So, got to be seeing the ball pretty well. The 2-1 pitch. Oh. And Guerrero works this one to a hitter's count. 3-1. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on-deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. Lays off that one, misses ball four. Good eye by the hitter there. Laying off that low ball, understanding below the knees, take it. Let's check out Vladdy's month so far and how he stacks up compared to the other hitters in the league. Third in home run, fifth best for RBIs, and he also has the ability to hit for a high average, ranked in the top 15 hitters in the league in batting average. That's outstanding. Two outs and a man on first. Here it comes. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0-1. On Here's the pitch. 0-1. Oh, Fastball and a called strike. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Ball. Can't get him to chase the fastball. Low. 1-2. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out there. Two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. The 1-2 on its way. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Well, they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. The Brewers still out in front. It's going to be Thomas. He'll start us out here in the second. Fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, they set up down and away. They throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Here's the delivery. Strike, Strike two. two at the knees. Nothing and two. And here's the pitch. Got him. One away. Well, a great job getting an 0-2. That third pitch, unhittable. Guess he figured why waste a pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. The national schedule. Let's have a look. Today, the last game of this Milwaukee series. They'll be traveling tomorrow. A road trip. They'll match up with the Cardinals. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then they have yet another venue. The Pittsburgh Pirates will be hosting. A lot of road games on the way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Well, a career year in 2010 for Corey Hart set career highs in home runs and RBIs, and it just looks like he's going to get better and better. And the tall players, takes him a while to get going. Maybe Corey Hart has found his stride. Oh, two. Strike two now with no balls, two strikes. Corey Hart, he'll protect. Corey Hart had 31 homers and 102 RBIs. With a 283 batting average, I mean, that's a big wow for Hart last year. Uh, put together a very big season. I think if he gets stronger and there's some room still to fill out there, I think he could continue to put up big numbers late in the year instead of running out of gas. That's a called strike three to Corey Hart. Got him. 
Now we've got a chance to take a look at the slider again. Well, he'll get the batter looking at this one. What a nice pitch, low and away in the strike zone. And he's going to take a slow walk back, trying to figure out what happened in that at bat. And not a good feeling. Cirillo in the box. First year, rookie year for him. Base is empty and two down. The pitch. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four seamer. Ball Missed badly with the fastball there. One and one. Swings for a strike on the fastball. It'll be a one-two count. The one-two pitch. And that one's hit well. Guerrero's there. And that's out number three. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Milwaukee two. Washington nothing. It's a nice day here, a little bit on the chilly side, but certainly not enough to detract from the game. That's in the dirt. He traps it. One oh pitch is a fastball, swung on and missed. One oh one. He has that little running action on that two-seam fastball that busts in on the hands of the hitter. It's a tough pitch. Now they have a chance to go to the outer part of the plate. 1-1 one, one on the way. And it's fouled off. Oh. The 1-2 on its way. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Well, even though he's still behind in the count, it's got to give himself a lot of confidence to know that this guy threw one of his best pitches, that strikeout pitch, and he still put it in play to foul it off. Now he's in the pitcher's head. Full count. That misses below the knees. That'll run us to the full 3-2 count. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. 3-2 on the way. All four. And the leadoff man's job. Get on base. He does it there with all four. Walking the leadoff, man, it's not a good sign. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at-bat ends in a walk. Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. And we're going to see Galarraga here. Well, look for them to keep an eye and hold him close at first base here. He's fast, and they're going to try to get him in scoring position to see if they can't get ball. back in the ballgame. Change up just misses. 1-0. Ready with a 1-0. Oh. Out in front, and it's 1-1. One -one. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Ball. one one pitch. Fastball. That's going to be low. 2-1. Well, it's not going to surprise you at all if they put the runner in motion. Good speed on the bases. Ahead in the count. Great time to make something happen. Now the 2-1 pitch. He watches the fastball go by. Now it's 2-2. Two two. Better to go after the fastball when the guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. Here's the pitch. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. You try to run that two-seam fastball down and in. It means you want to get the ground ball. He didn't get it, though, as the hitter lays off the tough pitch. The 3-2 pitch. Lost him. Ball four. Potential tying run is on. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. 
Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. And in the batter's box, it's Carter. Look here, we just saw the second walk in this inning, and you really have to start to question, is he nibbling, trying to avoid contact, or is he losing control? Oh. Low for ball one. And Steve, absolutely right about those walks here. He's got himself in a jam. If he doesn't get out of it, his part of the game may be over. Well, he's finding himself in hitters' counts, and when hitters can look for a certain pitch, they can drive it, so he's in trouble. Ball two. Misses outside for ball two. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. If they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. There's a swing and a line drive. And that gets through for a base hit. Now, here comes a runner for the plate. And he scores from second base. Well, he saw a pitch that he really liked, and he did not miss it. A really nice job with nobody out, keeping this inning going and picking up that RBI. Great, great piece of hitting. Yet runners at first and second. Grounded up the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. And he comes home. That's it. We are tied. Because the defense needs to stop right now. They need to put up an out here. This offense just has been relentless this inning. Orlando Cabrera has got two on here. Steve, a chance now for this lineup. They've tied it up. Looking next to try and uh, find a way to get a lead. Uh, Gary, that was a great piece of hitting right there. It allowed them to pull it even here early in the game. Nice response. Oh. Catcher can't control it. Pazos, and now the 1-0. Change up just off the black. Falls behind, 2-0. And, oh. and you get a feeling early on this uh, ball game is up for grabs. This could be anybody's. Well, it's certainly going to be a battle. I don't think there's any question about that. And you have to keep it close, especially with this guy on the mound. That's why this at bat is critical. And Cabrera's got himself a hit. It's time to get it done for Washington right now. Well, now after giving up three straight hits, the manager has to start thinking about getting somebody up in the pen. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Here's the first pitch. Can't get him to chase it. That's low. Ball one. Uh, tough start in this game and, and obviously really laboring in this inning. Up over 20 pitches and just can't seem to throw strikes. He delivers. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Swings and misses at that fastball. Now it's two and one. Boy, he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. Come set. Fastball on the block. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's 3-1. and one. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count 3-1. and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. He set the 3-1. That misses. Ball four, and here comes a run. Good eye by the hitter there. Laying off that low ball, understanding below the knees, take it. Oh, boy, Gary, I tell you what, you need to bear down and make some pitches right here. Close ball game. This is where that could all change with nobody out in the sacks full. Now, Gary, if they can get a strikeout in this situation, then the double play allows them to get out of the inning with no runs. No one out. Sacks full. 
Zimmerman in the box. Here's the oh. delivery. And he holds off on the pitch low, 1-0. Oh. Thank you. We see him walk his third guy this inning, and I mean that's going to lead to runs coming in bunches. The 1-0 oh now. Oh, Lost two. the grip for that changeup, and it's 2-0. Oh. And Steve here, in light of the walks in this inning, he may be taking one for the club at this point. Well, he's really laboring out there right now. I don't know how much longer they can leave me. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And that's a ball. Now Zimmerman's going to be looking to see if they'll let him swing here. He's hit 283 lifetime off Milwaukee. Here's the pitch. And on that one, he's not going to get the call, so he will issue the wall. Now the pitcher's got to get his radar back in the strike zone right now if he wants to continue through this inning. This is a make-or-break moment in this game for young Giovanni Gallardo. Already down a couple of runs in this ball game. Danger territory here with the bases loaded. Now the pitcher has to try to limit the damage, and you have to wonder where his confidence level is now with the bases loaded. RBI chance for Vladimir Guerrero. Already down a couple of runs in this ball game. Danger territory here with the bases loaded. Well, the pitcher has to try to limit the damage, and you have to wonder where his confidence level is now with the bases loaded. Line drive. He's up with it. No play on him. He's in there. And the run comes in. It eats him up. So he's aboard on the error. And more importantly, a run scores. In the batter's box, it's Dawson. And he'll be looking to pad the lead a bit here. When you get these kinds of opportunities, you have to capitalize on it to swing the bat. And the pitcher's really got to bear down now. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Here's the first pitch. He takes that one. Gallardo has him 0-1. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. Here's the pitch. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. It's back towards the wall. Runners on the move. That's one. I'll tell you what, this is what you want to do. Get runners on in front of this guy, and he knows how to capitalize. Sometimes he knows he needs the big base hit. This time he knew. Put it in play, pick up the run. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Oh. And he fouls oh. off another one. And he fouls another one off. And Gallardo misses low that time. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. One-two pitch coming. Two and that two. misses the strike zone away to even things at two. Ball misses high and it's full 3 2. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Four seam fastball up in the zone. 
The 3-2 pitch. Swung on, and that's foul back. Full count pitch. This is in the air, straight away left. Out number two. Here's what's happening this Friday. It'll be Kevin Euclid and the Boston Red Sox. They find themselves at Angel Stadium of Anaheim to face the Angels. That one is scheduled for a 10 o'clock start in the Eastern time zone. Okay, that's going to be a great matchup, and everybody's going to want to tune into that one. I'm looking forward to it. Runners at first and third with two away. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. Well, he gets the breaking ball right over the heart of the plate. He must have been looking for something else. There's a swing and a smash. And Thomas is going to play it. And that's going to do it in this half inning. They've struck back to take the lead with an enormous offensive inning. Washington leading now. They've got the momentum. We've got the top of the order coming up. And so Ricky Weeks leading it off. 0 for 1 thus far. And Carter setting his target. Swung on, hit. And that gets down. Weeks has got a base hit. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. A quick look at last year's numbers for Ricky Weeks. Sixth in triples, sixth in batting average with runners in scoring position, and of course, he got his base hits. He was ranked in the top ten in hits in the league, getting the job done, finding a way to get on base. Weeks on first. First pitch on the way. Strike Called one. strike. 0 oh 1. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it go by. The pitch. Oh, oh and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch. 1 1. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Whoa. That misses down in the zone. Two and one. Well, this is a good situation right here for the, for the offensive team. A fast runner on first base and a guy with a head and a count. Two and one. Good time for a hit and run. Now the 2-1. 2-1 two one. Two one delivery of fastball. Begging for a call. Strike two. In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. You're out. Slider. That's taken. Strike three. One away. Five pitches to get the job done. Pretty fine sequence. That was a great sequence of pitches. And as a hitter, you know you, every time you go up there, you want to try to get a hit or at least make the pitcher work. This one here didn't get it done. League leaders in on-base percentage last year, courtesy of State Farm. We'll take a look at Fielder. He's third. Well, you can't score runs if you don't get guys on base. And this guy was one of the best at it in all of baseball last year. He will walk. He can get his base hits. But the bottom line is he is on base. And when you're on base, you have a better chance of scoring runs than just sitting back and waiting for the homer. Swings, pops it up, right side of the infield. That's one. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. Runner on first now for Prince Fielder. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. The first pitch. He makes contact. Line drive. And that one is in there. His second hit today. 
This a great situation for some offense. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Two men on and two men out. He deals. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. Washington six, Brewers two. Well, overcast day for our afternoon game. First pitch, here it comes. And that's a ball. Gallardo too far outside. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a ball pop foul down the right field line. On the way. That's taken low for a ball, two and one. Here's the two one. Line towards second. And Carter is set down. Eastern Division standings starting to take shape here in April. We're in our State Farm standings board. First place, the Marlins. It's the Mets in second. Third spot, Phillies. In fourth place, it's the Braves. And the bottom dwellers, the Washington Nationals. Six slot up at the plate again. Well, another successful year for Gallardo. You remember in 2008, he had the knee injury, came back and tried to pitch and help his team. 2009, he was great. 2010, even better. His ERA up a little bit, but he strikes out guys, and he goes deep into games, and he saves a bullpen. And when you have a bullpen like the Brewers, you really need that. Ball one uh, to begin this at bat, 1-0. and oh. Question for him is going to be, can he have a consistent season where he keeps that ERA at, at a number that's respectable? He struggled with that last year. Well, second half of the season, an ERA close to six, and too many runners on base, and that's that consistency. He's a young guy that has to learn conditioning in the offseason. Going to be very important to sustain his stuff throughout the course of 162 games. He takes a fastball for a strike. Now it's one and two. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. And he pops it up. Foul territory behind third. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. The one-two pitch. Outside, two and two now. Two-two pitch. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. That one's caught. And the upcoming schedule for the Milwaukee Brewers. This is the last game against Washington. And they'll have to deal with Jimmy Rollins, and they'll be in Philadelphia against the Phillies. That'll be a three-game series. Following that, they'll have to deal with Lance Berkman. The Astros come into town. Great series there. Orlando Cabrera in. He hit three for five last season off Giovanni Gallardo. Two outs, space is empty. And he starts Cabrera out. Fastball, too low, 1 0. Now Gallardo with the 1-0 delivery towards center field. And Cabrera's got himself a hit. Boy, after two outs, they finally got a man on board right here in this inning. So let's see if they can get back-to-back -back hits going and maybe get some momentum. Reigns at the plate now. 
Last time up, he walked, forced in a run. Two outs and a man on first. And here's the first one. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball on the outside corner. Here's the 0-1 from Gallardo. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. And he lays off that one, but it's a called strike, one and two. The pitch. He fouls that one off. The one-two on its way. And that breaks low and it even ends up in the dirt. Taps this one foul off to the left. Well, any time a bat gets extended like it has, you have to foul off tough pitches. And that right there, that slider, was a tough, tough pitch to foul off. But give the hitter credit, he's staying alive. That misses ball four. Now you got to be watching for that steal down there. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. For his team, he's number two in hits. Two down. Runners at first and second. Zimmerman in the box. Here's the delivery. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So Giovanni Gallardo heads to the dugout. And coming up, we'll see the Brewers. We'll have the six, seven, and eight hitters coming up next. Simmons has a turn in the box. He bounced out his last time. And Carter sets up his target. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. He just rears back and throws this one with a little something extra on it. No chance of putting it in play. Here's the pitch. One Missed one. with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. Swing and a miss on that curve. One ball, two strikes. The one-two pitch. There is a swing and a liner. One away now. And here in the early part of the season, we have a look at the Central Division standings brought to you by State Farm. It's the Cubs in first. Brewers, second place. In the third spot, it's the Reds, the Pirates, fourth place. Cardinals in the fifth position. And wrapping up the list, the Astros. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Oh. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. On the outside corner, one and one. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. The one-one pitch. Fastball gets away from him there, two and one.
Here's the 2 1 pitch. Strike two. Gave him a fastball that time, but it's outside. Three and two. Payoff pitch. This is in the air. Straight away left. And it drops in for a base hit. That brings up Corey Hart. Well, let's take a look at the Milwaukee Brewers and where they ended up rank-wise last year in the National League. Second best in base hits, second in home runs, and an offense that can slug the ball, not settling for singles. They go up there looking to drive it third in the league in slugging percentage. One down, runner at first. The pitch. It's hit foul by Hart. Foul ball! Here's the delivery. Strike two now with no balls, two strikes. Corey Hart, he'll protect. Well, he has great rotation on his breaking ball right here, and he hits the perfect spot. The hitter just gave up on it. Slider in there and gets him looking two down. The clock at 79 on K-Cam and pretty decent movement on that breaking ball. That pitch certainly not lacking movement, John. Well, it's controlled movement, and that's why he's able to throw so effectively to catch guys looking like he did in that at bat. A runner on first with two outs. And the first pitch. Strike Fastball one. in there for a called strike. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's going to be Guerrero. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. The Nationals still on top. Let's uh, take a look at Vladimir Guerrero is going to lead it off. He's got the most home runs in the division. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. Swinging from the heels, and he missed it. 0-1. Uh, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. The pitch. Headed for the middle. And Guerrero, he's got himself a base hit. Let's check out Vladdy's month so far and how he stacks up compared to the other hitters in the league. Third in home runs, third in slugging percentage. And you also like the fact that he's delivering some RBIs, ranked in the top five in the league in RBIs, getting the job done, driving in runs, being a major run producer for his team, and one of the major run producers in the league. No one out and a runner on first. At the belt, Gallardo kicks and throws. It's strike one, can't make contact on the fastball. Well, you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four-seamer. He watches one miss low and outside, one and one. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. That's one of those pitches you throw it out there and you hope the hitter chases it. He laid off, though. Now it's a battle. Just off the inside edge, two and one. Two one pitch. Plays off that fastball. It's a call strike, two and two. Outstanding mechanics right there. He gets all of his body into the pitch. Great velocity on it. A strike away. 
Ground. Fastball in there. Called third strike. One out. We got a second now to see the four seam fastball in KCAM. And in the batter's box, it's Walker. Last time up, flew out. One out, runner on at first. And here's the first one. Ball one. And that's a ball. Gallardo too far outside. The 1-0 pitch. Can make contact with the fastball. Evens him up. What a one. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. A 1-1 delivery of curve in there. Now it's 1-2. and two. Now the big breaking ball away. Got, up, got the outside corner for a strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Boy, it took four pitches, no wasted time right there, and he got him. What I liked the most was he was very deliberate with what he had to do. He knew he had he can go out of the strike zone to get the punch out, and that's what he did, getting him to swing. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch to him. He takes that one. Gallardo has him 0-1. Here's the pitch. And that's on the outside corner. Nothing in two. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right at him. to get him to go after that curve one and two well anytime one of your middle relievers throws over 45 pitches you gotta wonder how much more he has left might want to get someone else up out there oh, that's well just about had him and it's a 2-2 two -two count Now the 2-2. Two -two. And he holds off of the curve. Full count. We started the curve ball away, and it broke further away just off the plate. Let's go, Vladdy. Let's go, Vladdy. The full count pitch. And this has popped up on the left side. And they're going to have to eat this one. He is in standing out. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. With two strikes, the hitter won at the fastball. He got it but didn't do anything with it. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. Now we see another solid performance in that inning. Giovanni Gallardo. Four innings in the books here at Nationals Park. And Weeks stands in. A great electrifying batter look for the long ball. First pitch to Weeks. Here it is. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Here's the pitch. Good eye right there by Ricky Weeks. He stayed away from that one, and it's even. Last year, the average for him, not good. 217 against the Nationals. One one delivery, a fastball taken for a strike, one and two. When you can spot your four seam fastball to the outside corner, the hitter has to have balance at the plate and not pull off the ball. One two pitch coming. You're out. And Ricky Weeks on a swing, strike three. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball in K Cam. It's down in the zone, but it's definitely a hittable pitch. Looks like the pitcher just caught him looking for something else, and it threw off his timing. Outstanding work right there, John. And uh, for the rest of the lineup, maybe they'll be second-guessing the next time around when they face him, especially with two strikes. 
One out, bases empty. He delivers. Oh, it's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Well, that's right down the chute. The hitter must have been looking for something else. Otherwise, you have to swing at that. And Carter sets up his target. Right Looks two. at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Tough spot for the hitter right here. Down 0-2. you got to foul off that tough pitch if you have to. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Ball. Can't get him to chase the fastball. Low, one and two. Boy, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Ball. That one goes foul. Well, anytime you're behind in the count, and in this case, the one-two count, you have to maintain that focus. You have to really be dialed into what the pitcher's throwing. You have to get in that defensive mode, though. Make sure you can foul it off, and that's what he did there to keep himself going. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively, two consecutive punch-outs. Now our State Farm leaderboard looking at the teams leading the league in slugging percentage from last year. Number one, the Reds. Second, the Rockies. Third spot, the Brewers. The D-backs fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, anybody can be pitched to. The, the problem is with this team, one of the top slugging percentage teams in the league last year is when you make a mistake, they seem to end up for extra bases with this club. Everyone in this lineup has some sort of power. Even if it's not home run power, they have gap power. And that's a vital part of any team's offense. Here's the 1-0. Fastball, low, 2-0. Slider just missed. He runs that to a 3-0 count. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. Hit in the air to center field. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Nobody left on base. No runs or hits here in this half inning. The Nationals still on top. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crux, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Smash towards the middle. And in there, he's two for three today. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. And the number seven batter in the box. Flew out last time. Runner on first base, nobody out. Here's the pitch. Ball. Just missed with the fastball, one and up. The 1-0 now. Head up the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. It's time to get it done for Washington right now. As much as you want to blame the pitching, we're now talking about more than one pitcher giving up all of these hits. You Right now, you have to credit the offense. These guys are really swinging the bat. And it's Orlando Cabrera in the box now. In five career at-bats, he's got three hits off Giovanni Gallardo. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And he starts Cabrera out. Slider misses badly with it. 1-0. Now the hitter didn't take the bait. That's a great pitch. That breaking ball down in the way. Trying to get the hitter to chase. You have to give him credit. He didn't go out of the zone for it. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 1-1. Swings at that 1-1 pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. 
credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Gets in front, stopped it, it's in the dirt. Ground ball. He picks it up. Over the second for one. And the deuce, a double play. You have to love great defense. I mean, that's an unbelievable effort right there and a way to pick your team up in a critical situation. Yeah, and it gets the fans into the game, too. I think fans love D. This look at the leaderboard brought to you by State Farm. We take a look here at the highest average with runners in scoring position last year. There you have a look at Zimmerman. He's fifth best. Well, every year, teams leave a ton of runners on base, but I tell you what, this guy is not one of them that's going to leave a lot of guys on. He is absolutely fantastic in crucial situations. He puts the ball in play, and he helps drive in a lot of runs for his team. Curveball just misses 1-0. Ready with a 1-0. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it's going to be good. The Nationals should score. Well, anytime you have two hits in a game, it will build confidence, and he's carrying it over into this game. Brian Zerman, he gets ready to swing here with two away. And they've not had to struggle here at the plate in this game. They just keep building on this lead. Uh, Gary, they keep lumping the hits together. They keep pulling away right now. This thing could be soon out of reach. And maybe, Steve, this one already is out of reach. they got to find some fortitude to get back into this thing. Zimmerman in the box. Here's the delivery. And Gallardo misses low that time. Uh, Gary, as you were saying, I mean, it may be getting out of reach because right now they're grand slam proof with the lead. So... A lot of pressure off the pitcher. Go out and throw strikes. Go right at him. Checks him at first, making sure he stays put watching that lead. Ball two. That's outside. Ball two. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. And that's a ball. Now Zimmerman's going to be looking to see if they'll let him swing here. 250 average lifetime. That's one for four against Gallardo. Here it comes. And it's three balls and one strike. Zimmerman will be looking here for something in his power zone. I see the bit overmatch last game out. He's striking out three times in that one, so he's hoping to make a little more contact here. Strike he two. lets that fastball go by. Called strike three and two. The full count, two outs. The run around first is going to get a pretty good jump, putting himself in a position to try to score in an extra base hit. Three-two on the way. Zimmerman the bat on this one. And he gets in there without a throw. That's a great situation for some offense. Well, this is great patience at the plate. He lets the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way, as he just did. Two men on, two men out. Here's the first pitch to Guerrero. Ball! And the pitch from Gallardo. Too far inside. That's for a ball. Well, this guy's really eating up some innings for this team. He's over the 60 pitch mark right now. And I tell you what, that's a lot of pitches for a middle relief pitcher. Hit up the middle, and it's going to be good. The Nationals should score. He's tired. His pitches are starting to flatten out. 
three straight hits. What more do you need to see before you give him the hook? Two men on and two men out. Here's the first pitch. That is a strike. Gallardo gets it by him. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike. 0-2. Pitch on the way. Oh. Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's one and two. Well, this broke a little bit too much out of the zone right here for a ball, but he's got to bring it back in. Rain that thing in a little bit. And he pops it up. Foul territory behind third. Good oh. effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Last ball, that's well off the plate, two and two. Liner towards the hole, and that's going to do it. Hart's there. So they strike for five base hits in the inning and a couple of runs. The Nationals totally controlling this ball game. And Prince Fielder will lead it off. He had a single in his last time up. Here's the first pitch. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. One away now. Here's a look at the teams who got it done last year at the plate. Brought to you by State Farm. The Reds number one. The Cardinals in second. The Rockies third. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Phillies rounded out. When you watch this team today, one of the top hitting teams in all of baseball last year, you can't get frustrated as a pitcher pitching against them because they are going to get base hits, but you're going to have to bear down, and if you're going to beat them, you better hope you're getting a lot of double play balls because there's always going to be guys on base. Our speed pitch is in there for a called strike. Well, this guy is a classic finesse pitcher with one of the best curveballs in the league. He deals. A swing line to left center. And it falls in. Hitting streak continues. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base. And he does with one out that base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. Runner at first with one down. Here's the first pick. Called one. strike, going one. And here's the delivery. Curveball, take it for a strike, and the count's 0 and 2. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. The one two on its way. Two two. That misses the strike zone away to even things at two. And the curveball, it's in there. Struck him out. Two down now. You have to protect with two strikes. It doesn't matter what they throw. He gets the curveball there, down and in. You at least have to fight that pitch off. It's going to be Thomas. 
One for two in the ballgame. Runner on first, two away. Now the first pitch. Ball. And this misses, 1-0. Called strike on the outside corner, and it's one and one. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Hot shot towards the hole. Now in this moment of interest, we're going to see Corey Hart. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. Two down. Runners at first and second. Hart gets set, and here's the first pitch. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. It's a fair ball headed into the corner for extra bases. And he will score from second base. And Thomas also home. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Just kind of lean in, Steve, and slap that thing the other way on that kind of pitch. Well, you can't pull that pitch. If you do, it's going to be a ground ball to short. You want to punch it to right field. He's one of the best at doing it. Cirillo settling in. Progress. They're happy to see it, but they've got to have some major production if they're going to get back into this. Now, listen, Gary, they're hanging around right now. It's scratching and clawing, trying to get back into this game. And you know what? They're closing in on it. And this team will do that to you. They've got a reputation as a ball club that just won't go away. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. And that's right, Gary. You know what? You earn those sorts of reputations, and that's what they do. This team does not let up. Let's see if they can continue the charge. This wow. one's grounded near third. Foul. He deals. And this is popped up on the left side. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Well, the pitcher did exactly what he wanted to do on that 0-2 count. He wanted him to swing the bat, and he did, but he just fouled it off. Great piece of hitting. One and two. Tries to ring him up with a fastball away, but it's one and two. Look, you got to like their approach here right now. I mean, they know they just need to get base runners. When you get base runners, give yourself opportunities to score. You can do it, and they picked up a couple runs just by doing that. You're out. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. Milwaukee, they're doing what they can to stay in this game. Middle of the lineup, due up. And in the batter's box, it's Walker. 0 for 2 thus far. And here's the first one. And that's a ball. Gallardo too far outside. On the way. 1-0 pitch is a fastball high. 2-0. He waves at that fastball. 2-1. Two one pitches a slider taken for a call strike two. Well, the back door breaking ball right there. They set up away and executed the pitch perfectly.
The 2-2 pitch. Back up the middle. Oh, mercy. Boy, that did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. Oh, he's on board. It'll be a base hit there. Still no one out. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. And we're going to see Galarraga here. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. See Galarraga here. Still without a hit yet in the game. He'll get another chance here. Walkers at first. First pitch on the way. It's fouled away. Here's the pitch. Swings and there's a drive. Very high, very deep. Right center field. They add a couple more to the lead now. A home run and a six-run lead. Pitch down and away, Steve. He found a way to go up and get it. Well, that's a pitcher's pitch. I mean, there's not much you can do there. That's an exceptional job of hitting. Not many guys can hit a home run on that one. Got to love the approach of the Nationals right here, Gary. They're approaching it exactly the right way. Base is clear, no outs. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on and fouled away. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but, boy, if you're on the other side, you've got to really feel like they hit you right in the solar plexus. And, and, and from the pitching perspective, they have to try to shut them down. You cannot let them continue to expand this lead. It's going to be very difficult to come back. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. I tell you, that kind of that kind of breaking ball in the low 80s is awfully tough to hit. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out, John. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball, and then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch! One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. Oh Ugly pitch. Catcher able to somehow scoop that out. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. Oh. Flat fastball right there. Just missed. Just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Right. Two and one, the count. Two and two. Well, that change up down on the way is so tough. It's really one of those ones. All you can do is spoil it and hope to get the next one. The 2-2 two -two coming. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Now the 2-2. Two -two popped way up there behind home plate. And a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Well, that's a tough pitch to hit right there. A big curveball. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though, just to be able to get some piece of the bat on the ball to keep this at bat alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Two down. Well, that curveball is an unhittable pitch. It's either a take pitch or if you swing at it, 
you swing and miss. Two straight strikeouts on the big hook. And so with two down, it'll be Orlando Cabrera. He's averaged 298 lifetime against the Brewers. And he starts Cabrera out. Drilled towards the hole. And that's going to do it. Hart's there. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. The Nationals totally controlling this ball game. And for those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And then on the mound, we'll see Chad swinging a liner to left. And he gets that one down, his second hit, two for four today. A quick look at last year's numbers for Ricky Weeks. Sixth in triples, sixth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And of course, he got his base hits. He was ranked in the top ten in hits in the league, getting the job done, finding a way to get on base. A runner on first, no out. And the first pitch, a strike on a swing against Cordero. The pitch, swing and a miss, and he's behind on the count 0-2. That's a foul ball. Oh. Oh. Nice to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, one, two count. The one, two pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two-strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. His team set the tone in offense last year. Let's take a look. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Reds. The Phillies in second. In third, the Rockies. Fourth, the Brewers. And number five, the Braves rounded out. Well, this is a pitcher's dream. When you have an offense like this on your side, you know you're going to get a ton of runs. You don't have to be so precise. You can let runs score because you know your offense is going to pick Hold you on. up. The good thing about this team is they like to score runs. They like to score them early in the game. That gives your team a lot of confidence. Here's the 1-0. Hit in the air to left center. This one towards Walker. And he gets over to take care of it. And Prince Fielder up. Korea numbers for him 277 off the Nationals. A runner on first with two outs. Here's Fielder's first look. And Cordero unable to find it. That's going to be a ball. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, making bring it down to give yourself a chance. At the belt, the 1-0. Swing and a line to left. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. Tremendous situation now for Milwaukee. Well, a big two-out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. <laughs> 
Two men on and two men out. Here's the pitch. And he takes one in there on one. When you throw that breaking ball, you want to throw it down in the zone to get the hitter to chase or just get the bottom of the zone for a strike. That's what he did. And here's the delivery. Missed badly with a change there. One and one. Swing and a miss, one and two. Ball two. Try to get him to chase the fastball away, two and two. Fastball swung on and missed, side retired. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The Nationals still on top. Reigns up now. He'll start the home half of the seventh. Here's the pitch. Ball. First pitch inside with a fastball, ball one. One zero on the way. Swing and a shot down the left field line. Into the corner, likely extra bases. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. Well, this is getting ugly right now. I mean, he's given up hit after hit after hit. This offense has clearly figured him out. How much longer can you leave him in to take a beating? We'll see Ryan Zimmerman with a man on second. 16 ABs last year, six hits against the Brewers. Zimmerman in the box. Here's the delivery. Looks at one. That's in there for a strike. Oh. Third ball out of down on that one. Ended up in the earth. He delivers, smashes that one towards the shortstop. One decides not to try for the double play, hangs onto it. And it's Vladimir Guerrero. Wait. Well, guys, when people were writing off Vladimir Guerrero as being too old and not being able to do the things he was as a youngster, he proved everyone wrong in 2010. A lot left in the tank for Vlad as long as he's DHing and staying healthy. One out with a runner at second. Here's the first pitch to Guerrero. Picked up by Weeks. Oh, he has thrown it away safe all around. And he throws it away. In the batter's box, it's Dawson. 0 for 3 to this point. Runners at first and third, one away. And the first pitch. And he takes the ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. The 1-0 pitch. That one goes foul. Pitch on the way. Oop, there's the hammer. One and two. One-two pitch coming. 
Fastball got him looking two down. And one after another just kept him guessing. Well, a great four pitch at bat right there to get the hitter out. And anytime you can have quick innings and lower your pitch cap, then you're going to stay longer in the game. And in the batter's box, it's Walker. Single and scored his last time around. Runners at first and third with two away. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. Here we go, DC. The pitch. There's a swing and a ground ball. And that ball gets through, and the runner's going to come home. Uh, 0 1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And we're going to see Galarraga here. And Gary, I mean, with that hit right there, I mean, they're just pouring gasoline on the fire right now. Somebody's got to have a hose. Walkers at first. Guerrero's on at second. First pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they pick up a run on two hits and they leave a couple. The Nationals totally controlling this ball game. If you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Simmons at the plate, and this misses 1-0. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Here's Cadero's 1-0 pitch to left center. And that's number one. Here's a look at the teams that uh, drummed up the extra base hits last year. Our State Farm leaderboard. The D-backs, number one. The Reds, second. Third spot, the Brewers. The Rockies, fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, anytime you have a whole team of guys who can hit for extra bases, it makes the defense spread out so much, and it gives you room to do other things. This team is great at it, one of the best in the league last year, just hitting the balls in gaps, hitting the ball over the wall, and that's why they score so many runs, because they're always in scoring position. Ball. That misses for a ball. Now, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Lays off that ball, too. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Ball lifted high in the air, deep down the right field line. Gone, a home run. That solo shot represents a little hope. Still down by six. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Hey! It's nice to have somebody coming off the bench that can run a little bit. He can come in and pinch run, or he can get a rally started and potentially score a big run in a situation. Base is empty with one away. And there's the inside pitch from Cordero. Well, the runs allowed in this ballgame, Steve, have just come to a point now where you've got to have a really massive offensive output to get back. Uh, you put so much pressure on your offense when your pitchers let you down early in the game. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. 
And it's going to be Guerrero as he retreats back for it and gets the out. Cirillo is batting, called out on strikes in his last appearance. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way. Ball one. Ball one. Uh, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ball game. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Guerrero. That'll do it as they put that one away. So they cut into that deficit a bit with the home run still well behind. Still a battle ahead for Milwaukee, but they've at least started. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. And in the batter's box, it's Carter. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. The first pitch. And he gets this one by him, 0-1. Here it comes. Strike Called two. strike on a fastball, and it's 0-2. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And in there. He gets that one down. That's his third hit, three for five. Or just what his team needed. He continues to swing a great bat. Three hits from now in this ball game, and he's on with no outs. And it rolls around to the top again. Struck out swinging his last time up. Runner on first. The pitch. Ball That's that breaking ball go outside for ball one. They went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 oh. pitch. A changeup stays outside. 2-0. Oh. Well, he has an outstanding changeup, Gary. That, that pitch that keeps the hitters off balance at the plate. On the ground to third. And it goes through. That's a base hit. And now a three for five day. Good game. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Orlando Cabrera has got two on here. Looking back to last season, he had a 282 average against the Brewers. And he starts Cabrera out. And there's one. That's two. And they get the two outs. Not quite enough time there for a triple play. But Gary, get a chance to look at this double play on the replay. And this is an outstanding effort to make the catch, get to the bag, and make the throw. That's a rally killer. And that's going to deny the chance at a big inning here. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch. Hit sharply down the line. That looks like a single. Well, he's having himself a day right here in this one. Two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. So it's Ryan Zimmerman. Now he's got a chance here with two out and two on. Lined out last time up. Here's the pitch. Takes a call. Strike one. First and second occupied with two outs. Boy, does he need to make a pitch right here, Gary. Try to get out of this inning and put a zero up on the board. Never, 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 
The pitch. And he leaves that one alone. Ryan Zimmerman with patience to even it up. This is in the air, straight away left. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they pick up no runs, three hits, and leave one. And coming up, we'll see the Brewers. And it's Ricky Weeks in the box now. And a base hit his last time up. First pitch to Weeks, here it is. Ball! And that one is going to be high for a ball. Cordero misses. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning. and They just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Take away hope as the other team needs to score a bunch of runs. You get an out, you can really deflate them. Here's the 1-0. One, oh. one and one. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here. And he's struggling right now. He deals. That swung on and a liner here. And that gets down. Weeks has got a base hit. A quick look at last year's numbers for Ricky Weeks. Sixth in triples. Sixth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And of course, he got his base hits. He was ranked in the top ten in hits in the league. Getting the job done. Finding a way to get on base. No one out and a runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Ball. And there's the inside pitch from Cordero. Trying to throw it in on the hitter's hands right here. Trying to get him to flinch and open up. He just laid off the pitch. Didn't get the strike. The 1-0 now. Swung on and ripped towards second. That's 1-0. But he'll hang on to that so they will get one. Burnett's batting now. He flew out his last time up. One down, runner at first. First pitch on the way. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Two men have been put away. And that'll hold the runner at first. Team leaders in home runs. How'd they do it last year? Well, let's take a look on our State Farm leaderboard. The Reds number one. The Brewers second. In third, the D-backs. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. We see so many games won with one swing of the bat, and this team last year was one of the best at it, at hitting the ball out of the ballpark. You make a mistake, they will make you pay. The bottom line is, though, there's no one in this lineup that you think is going to be an easy out because they can all take you out. Weeks on first. Here's Fielder's first look. Ball one. That one's too low. Cordero missing. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Strike one. And Fielder works this one to the enviable hitter's count, three and one. Last year, just one for 11 off the Nationals on the road. Strike Comes two. back on one on the corner, full, three, two. And now with two outs, the runner's going to be moving from first base and likely scores on a double. And he heads down to first.
first base. That's ball four. That's good plate discipline by the hitter right now. Good pitch recognition. Laying off the ball out of the zone. Number nine spot up to play to give. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Number three slot up again here. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Two down. Runners at first and second. And here's the first one. In there for a strike. The hitter lays off this pitch realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. The pitch, 0-1, fastball and a called strike. A nice four-seamer right there. That one's clearly on the outside corner. He hit the spot. Oh. Tries to ring him up with the fastball away, but it's one and two. A good action on that pitch running away, but it's a ball you have to get down to the zone. Don't throw it up. Misses there. We're even at two. Here's the pitch. Swung on. Hit on the ground. And on to first for out number three. And that's going to do it. Well, a lot went right today for Washington. They're able to get the victory and move forward. So the honor is ready to be handled out. Our player of the game, a very deserving candidate. But when your title after your name is designated hitter, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. That is it. And that is what happened in this one today. He's our player of the game because he came through when his team needed him the most. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Uh, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings. But the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crock and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.